Hey guys, welcome to KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about Maven settings.xml file. If you are working as a Java developer and if you are using uh, Maven as a build automation tool, then you should uh, must understand the what's the importance of settings.xml file. Yeah, so let's just start. Uh, when we talk about the settings.xml, settings.xml file contains elements used to define values which configure Maven execution uh, in various ways like the pom.xml but uh, should not be bundled to any specific project or uh, distributed to uh, an audience. So whatever settings we do in the settings.xml, uh, make sure that that should be the uh, that should not be bundled with the project right and that that should not be uh, that should not be available for the distribution to all the audience right uh, these uh, includes values such as local repository location or path alternate remote repository servers authentication information and many more information right there are two locations where a settings.xml file may live first uh, the maven install directory like you know uh, not maven install directory but uh, 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 when you basically uh, run uh, once you do the configuration of maven first time and then you run any goal maven goal then what happens in user uh, home directory right uh, uh, m2 m2 file gets created right and within that m2 file you can copy this file from the uh, maven installation directory so wherever you have downloaded your maven uh, zipped file once you unzip then you can go to the maven home then you will get the conf folder inside the conf you have a settings.xml so if you want user specific uh, uh, configuration for settings.xml then copy that file right to the m2 directory right and uh, and 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 if you are using uh, Eclipse as a ID, an ID, then you should specify location of settings.xml in your ID, right? So of course, this settings.xml file, you can configure in two places. One in the Maven installation directory, Maven installation directory, you have a conf folder inside that settings.xml you have file. If you do all modification in this file directly, then this uh, it would be considered as a global settings. So if in your computer, right? or same installation is going to use by the many users then this will be the common setting for all users second thing in users install directory right in uh, users home uh, means in users home means inside the users you have a multiple user right and inside that uh, if you run the maven or uh, goal first time then dot m2 directory will be created so what you can do you can just copy uh, files from the uh, maven uh, maven installation directory to dot m2 and there and this uh, location you have to provide in an id right so this would be the user settings level right this is for a specific user uh, now uh, if both file exist let's say you have a setting in both the files uh, one is in the global settings another is user settings uh, then what happened in both file exist their content gets merged with the user specific settings dot xml be dominant or most will have a most priority yeah if you look into the default maven settings dot xml that will look like this so what i'll do i'll go to the uh, maven installation directory and there i can show you so in e drive i have a software folder softwares inside the softwares here you can see i had downloaded maven zipped folder from maven uh, website official website and thus I had extracted once you extract then you if you go inside then Maven, Maven uh, installation home directory you have a folder is called conf inside that inside that you have a settings.xml if you open this setting.xml in any editor editor so my favorite editor is of course notepad plus plus then here you can see this all explanation about this uh, settings.xml so I'll merge it if you go inside then again there is a lot of explanation then settings is the root tag inside that settings you have a various tag first we will talk about the local repository right so you know maven stores copies of plugins and dependencies locally in the uh, users inside the users you have a user name inside the dot dot inside that you have a dot m2 
uh, inside that you have a repository folder right uh, within that folder basically uh, use uh, when you run any maven goal then maven basically first of all look into those dependencies in the local repository which is inside the dot m2 directory if that dependency is not available then same dependency maven will try to download either from the remote or central repository and that will put into the local repository uh, and uh, uh, next time when you build the same project then if those dependencies already available on the uh, local repository that will try to avoid to download same from the remote repository that's the basically local repository does but here local repository path which is the default this one you basically change it so just you have to copy this tag outside of this comment and there you can specify your own custom path so next uh, once you do that then next time onwards maven will download all the dependencies from the remote as well as the central repository and that will uh, put into uh, your your custom path yeah so that's about the local repository now let's see what else we have then we have an interactive mode right so as the name suggests when this value is set to true the uh, the default value maven interacts with the user for input right and its default value of course true so when you go to the uh, basically command prompt right and if you write mvn uh, archetype colon generate then maven will try to fetch all the basically uh, archetype from the central repository and that will give it to you and that will ask you to basically provide your user input right like uh, you need to select the basically archetype then you have a group id you need to select you have to select the artifact version etc but if you uh, make this value as a false maven is not going to uh, ask you any input right so in that case you have to provide uh, like uh, all these inputs in uh, in the command prompt in advance right now next uh, next uh, attribute or element we have offline right so when you set to true this configuration instructs maven to operate and offline mode the default value is false if you make it false maybe will not try to download the dependency from the central repository and that's the reason this value made as false yeah now let's see what else we have now we have a plugin groups right so here if you look in the plugin groups then it contains list of the plugin uh, plugin group elements right inside the plugin groups you can specify plugin right uh, the list of basically the list is searched searched when um, uh, plugin is used and group id is not provided uh, in the command line this list automatically contains two plugins if you come here then this list basically already contains these two plugins even though in these plugins you do not register over here uh, uh, inside this uh, still these two plugins are automatically available these things you will have to keep in mind yeah now let's see what next element so we have already discussed about the plugin groups now we'll talk about the proxies so here now we have a proxies right here you can see inside the proxies you can uh, configure a uh, proxy right so proxies contains the http proxy information needed to connect to the internet so what happens if you work in any industry or any organization so there is possibility when maven will try to download some artifact or dependencies from central or remote repository then due to some uh, firewall constraint uh, maven will not be able to download because of firewall restriction then in those cases what you can do you can uh, uh, define your own proxy and the, using those proxy maven will allow you uh, sorry uh, using those proxy basically maven yeah maven will allow you to download the art, all the artifacts from the either from the central or remote repository basically that will bypass the firewall restrictions right now next thing we will discuss nothing but the servers right so here uh, uh, maven can interact with the variety of servers such as apache sub version like svn servers build servers remote repository servers these uh, element allows you to specify security credentials such as username and password which can be used to connect to the those servers right so here you can see within the servers you can configure your server and there you have to specify the server id username password etc right now next element we have a mirror right here you can see next element we have a mirror 
as the name suggests mirror allow you to specify alternate path of your repository right so inside the mirror you can uh, inside the mirrors you can uh, specify mirror means alternate uh, option for your repository you can specify right here inside the mirrors we have a mirror the mirror id mirror of right then a name and then url you need to specify right now we talked about the mirror and most important uh, we have to talk we have to talk about the profiles that's the very important stuff in maven right so profiles allow you to group certain configuration elements such as repositories and uh, plugin repositories right so if you go to inside that then here you can inside the basically your profiles you can specify uh, your profile related information right and last but not the least uh, we will talk about something is called let me merge this guy merge this guy then we'll talk about the active profiles right so once you define the profile right so profile may be defined and maybe def may you can define for the different environment that may be uh, defined for the div or prod or test environment right now thing is that how we can active the profile and that's what we have active profiles tag or element uh, the active profile allows you to specify a default profile to be active for maven to use and that's the use of active profile right so guys that's all i wanted to discuss in this video tutorial uh, i hope you enjoy learning this video if you really like this video then hit on the like button didn't subscribe kk java tutorial till yet then please go ahead and subscribe it and see you there in the next video tutorial